Welcome back to KCTV English News. I'm Angel Kim. Due to the nationwide spread of COVID-19, the opening of indoor sports facilities has again been put on hold. The provincial government had reviewed the opening of indoor sports facilities on the premise of pre-booking and small-scale use of less than 30 people on the 26th. But due to the surge of COVID-19 infections across the country, the plan will be postponed and further discussions will be held after September. Currently, public facilities such as outdoor sports facilities and libraries are still open and operating under the first tier of social distancing. But there are plans to consider changing the current status if the virus continues to spread. The application for emergency disaster support which has been distributed since May, will close on the 24th. According to the provincial government, as of the 13th, more than 285,000 households in the province applied for the government support fund, and 97.8% of the households in the province have been paid. Households who have not yet applied must visit their local community service center by the 24th, and the funds must be spent by the 31st. The government will deem that residents who do not apply by the deadline are donating the amount. Jeju City has made the decision to support Henyo female divers aged 70 or older. The amount of support is 100,000 won per month for those over 70 years old and 200,000 won for those over 80 years old. Currently, of some 2,200 Henyo female divers in Jeju City, 57.3% are elderly Henyo female divers aged 70 and over. As more and more consumers are seeking safer foods, locally grown organic bananas become popular among consumers. Joseph Kim reports. Banana trees stand high toward the greenhouse ceiling. Hands of bananas that have fully ripened are being harvested with care. The owner of the greenhouse attempted to grow the tropical fruits for the first time last year. He chose organic farming despite the greater effort required. Greenhouse grown bananas were successfully raised in Jeju from the mid 1980s as the island has quite mild winters. As of 1989, the annual production exceeded 20,000 tons. However, production plunged as many free trade agreements were signed between Korea and many banana producing countries. Cheap bananas crushed the local banana industry. These days, demand for Jeju organic bananas is on the rise as consumers seek better and safer foods. The safety of the fruit is recognized as it doesn't have to be treated with chemicals, including pesticides, to prevent plant diseases, as the shipping period is much shorter than imported fruits. The Kim Young Office of the National Agricultural Cooperative Federation chose the crop as a local specialty, and 26,000 square meters of banana farms have been created in the eastern part of the island. The Jeju Agricultural Research and Extension Service is providing a heating system that uses renewable energy to cut heating costs, which is the biggest burden to banana growers. Local banana growers are hoping the tropical fruit to become a new cash crop in Jeju. Joseph Kim, KCTV. Thank you for joining us today at KCTV English News. Please follow us on YouTube at KCTV E News Jeju and on KCTV's VOD service. Take care.